And we're going to hear next from Karen Parker, who's the director of the Midcoast Hunger Prevention Project, which is an enormous task, and we certainly admire all she's doing. I'm just going to say a few words about hunger in our own community. You know, pre-COVID, we knew that one in five uh, children in Maine uh, were experiencing food insecurity and one in six adults. And then COVID happened, and we know that there was a 25% increase in the amount of food insecurity there is in our, our community. At Midcoast Hunger, which is located here in Brunswick, but serves eight to 10 local communities, we saw a 50% increase in um, the number of people coming to our programs. And what we've found is that we are seeing people that have never needed food assistance before in their lifetimes. Particularly, we are seeing that amongst children and amongst seniors. So, for instance, we had a gentleman in his 70s who recently experienced uh, an increase in his rent. He didn't have enough food. He didn't know where to go. So he found us and uh, we were able to provide him with some food. Thankfully, we work with a lot of local farmers and we get a lot of great healthy produce from the local farmers. And his response after coming for the first time was, well, now I don't have to eat peanut butter and jelly twice a day in order to, me to meet, um, you know, to make my budget work for uh, my increase. So we have stories like that every day of people who just can't make it all work. So the other thing that COVID has done, it's really highlighted what we already knew was in existence in our community, and that is food insecurity. Maine has the sixth largest very low insecurity in the country, and that is not something that we should be proud of. So really my goal today was just to highlight what is happening in our community with food insecurity and how as, um, as a community we have tried to rise to the occasion but there's so much more work to do in order to make sure that people have their basic right and that is healthy food that they can feed their family on. So thank you for inviting me today um, and being able to listen to all the passionate speakers here. Thank you.